Hey moms and dads, Pastor John here. Uh, this is the vlog for the week of March 21st and 22nd. Um, hopefully this coming week it'll be a little bit warmer outside. I know, uh, you know, negative temperatures for spring break is always exciting. Uh, but wanted to give you a little update. I took uh, 23 students uh, and a few leaders up to Camp Minioe on Monday and Tuesday of this week. That's the 13th and 14th. Uh, we went up to split and stack firewood for the camp. Uh, we did this as a service project and we wanted to be able to serve another organization that is uh, spreading the gospel. And so we did so. We had done this last year and last year we had split and stacked about 22 face cord of wood in, in the roughly six hours of work that we did. Well this year, uh, I'm pleased to say we surpassed that amount. We, uh, we were able to split and stack 27 face cords of firewood for the camp. Um, and, and we really just wanted to bless them. And they told us that last year it was a huge blessing because it takes a weight off their shoulders trying to process firewood uh, because they heat the entire camp throughout the winter uh, on, a, on a wood furnace outside. And so uh, we were glad to help there. We were glad to um, serve the Lord in that capacity. Uh, and, uh, you know, we had a great time of bonding and uh, doing devotions and eating and working very hard together. And uh, I'm also really happy to announce our kids worked really hard. Uh, there were a couple of kids that were actually uh, um, recruited almost uh, by the camp because of their exemplary work ethic. Uh, this week um, for junior high, senior high, we are going to be in James chapter 4, verses 13 to 17. Uh, go ahead and take a read on that. Uh, we will more than likely be doing something inside again, uh, depending on the weather. I uh, can't really decide by the end of this week or early next week if it's going to rain or snow or be freezing or be warm. So who knows? Uh, we'll just uh, keep it up uh, to the Lord and we'll do some stuff inside uh, for this coming week. Uh, I also wanted to make mention, um, if you see one of these shirts on somebody, uh, that would be a youth volunteer. And uh, parents, this is really a message for you. It, is, it, it takes a lot of work to run a youth program, and I cannot do that all on my own. Uh, I get to be the face of the youth program, I get to be up front, and I get to teach your kids. Um, but our small group leaders and our volunteers are really the heartbeat of what we do. Uh, and I would just encourage you, if you see somebody uh, with one of these First Baptist Youth Program, uh, it's got a little volunteer word down the side, uh, that you would just go up and thank them for the time that they're sacrificing uh, to work with your students. They really are a blessing to them. They are uh, showing them and teaching them God's word, uh, and they're really working hard for for, uh, for the kingdom. And so if you see them, take a, just take a second uh, to thank them for what they do. We don't want to steal anybody's uh, kingdom rewards, but uh, the reality is it, it makes it a whole lot easier if, uh, if our volunteers know that you appreciate what they do. Uh, so that's what I've got for you this week. Not a real long vlog, uh, but it'll be something to, uh, you, you, you can watch quickly. One last thing, uh, our next event coming up is on April 22nd. We're going to Sky Zone Fun Park. Um, I need some volunteer drivers and we're also limited in numbers to about 40. Uh, so the reality is I need to take some leaders. So there's really 36 spots open for the Sky Zone Fun Park. Uh, and this is a first come first serve basis. Uh, your waiver form has costs and information on there. So please uh, check those out. Uh, you can find that information on the website as well. And then uh, uh, make sure you get signed up. All right. Thanks so much. Uh, have a good week and we're praying for you. Bye-bye.